let's write the smart contract for automobile industry so let's provide the license identifier we have to take the solidity version and here we are taking 0.8.0 version you can take the higher version but don't go below this otherwise the contract will throw you an error let's define the contract and we'll call it automotive and in that we go to define couple of state variable okay so let's define that so state variable the first variable we have is the address public and this is where we're going to keep the address of the person who will deploy this contract then we have this mapping and that we are mapping with the boolean so this mapping will allow us to identify that who is the buyer so it will return true or false in this string we are taking the information about the vehicle then we have to take a, another string and that we're going to keep the information about the vehicle model that what model it is then we have this unt public and in that we're going to keep the price of the vehicle let's come down and here we have to define couple of events because every time the sale will happen the registration will happen in the contract we have to initialize the event and if you don't know what is event make sure to follow my sorority smart contract and the complete sorority course in that i have explained everything about this events and all the syntax which we are using in this contract so let's define the event purchase in that we have to pass the buyer and then make and we have to pass the model and unt and price so these are the four data we are passing and that's the data we are taking and storing as a state variable so this is the first event and let's define our constructor so in this constructor we're not going to pass any data and here we have to update the owner so the one who will deploy the contract so this is our simple constructor let's come down and let's create the functions so the very first function we have is called buyer vehicle okay so if anybody wants to buy the vehicle so they can call this function so in that we have to pass a couple of data so first one is a string we'll call it memory make so we are storing simple data but in the real world project what happened that there is a lot of information about the vehicle so you will have the registration number you will have the address you will have the owner but for the simplicity i'm just taking one variable so you guys can understand that how you have to write the smart contract for any industry the second variable we have to pass is this model and these are the two data we are passing in this buy vehicle mm -hmm. then we have to check for the condition so if message dot value is higher or equal to the price then we want to make the sale happen otherwise we have to throw an error and here we have to take this vehicle and that we have to simply update the data the data we are taking and the model name mm -hmm. and that's pretty much and here we have to call this buyer we'll turn it to true and here we'll initialize the event that's a pretty simple function so whatever state variable we have taken now we are simply updating that so first we are taking this two data from this so first we are taking this two data into this function then we are checking for this condition that whatever the price we have set for the vehicle is provided by the person who's trying to buy then we are updating our buyer mapping with false then simply updating this data the state variables and then we are confirming this to true and we are initializing this event so hope this entire things make sense for this first event for the first function let's move to the next function the second function we have to include in the contract for setting the price of the vehicle so you have two options to set the price one at the time of deployment of the contract if you have all the data you can do that or you can update the price with the help of the function so here i'm going with the function it's totally up to you what approach you will take so let's create the function we'll say set price and that we have to take the price from the user the owner and we'll make it public and here we have to check for the condition so the one who is calling the function he is the owner then he can only upload the contract the price of the vehicle then we have to update the price and that's pretty much so this is the second function we have in the contract and the third function we have to check the ownership in this contract we are focusing on one single vehicle we don't have multiple vehicle we have only one vehicle and that vehicle anybody can buy and sell okay so that's the simple functionality we have included so this function will allow us to check that who is the owner of that contract of that vehicle so let's build the functionality for that we'll say public view return and it will return the boolean so here we have to simply pass the buyer is the message dot sender so whoever is calling this function if he is the buyer then he can this will return the true okay and that's pretty much so that's a very simple smart contract we have written for this entire automotive industry you can add a lot of functionality into this
you can add a lot of functionality instead of storing one vehicle in this contract you can store multiple you can store multiple wires you can store multiple arguments but i just want to get you familiarized that how you can write the smart contract for different industry this is the entire smart contract we had written for the automobile industry so we have all the state variable we have this event we have this constructor and we have this very first function from buying the vehicle this one is for setting the price and this one is for checking the ownership so let's deploy this contract click here and from here this is the contract we are deploying click on this deploy you can see the transaction went through and here we will find the instance of the contract so click on this here you will find all the instance so if you see here here we have all the state variable and we have used this public so we can easily able to check the variables of each of these functions okay from here we can easily able to set the price because currently the price is zero so i want to set something to five and if i make set price the transaction went through and if you call you can easily able to check the price of this vehicle and from here you can easily able to buy the vehicle so all you have to do is to pass the name so i'll type dollar and you can type whatever name you want so i will type go like something like this and from here you have to provide the price so come here and from here i'm going to buy it to five so that's the word i have defined and from here i will select the ether so the moment i will make the transaction you can able to see the transaction went through and from here you can easily able to see the owner so right now i bought this from the same account so that's why i'm still the owner but from here you can easily able to change the contract from here you can easily able to see the price the name and you can see the descriptions so that's how you can write the smart contract this one is a very basic smart contract we have built for the automobiles to understand that how to structure the smart contract so this smart contract is for only one time use and you can utilize this smart contract for different purpose so if you want to use the same contract for in the land industry so just imagine that you want to create a contract between two person where you are creating the smart contract in that you want to store the information about the land which is going to be happened between you and that person so you can create contract like this way for individual purpose in that scenario you can use this contract because this contract is for the single use and that's the thing you have to keep in mind so i believe that you guys have got the idea that how you have to write the smart contract for the automobile industry and what are the modification you can do into this contract because there is a lot of things you can do right now we are dealing with the simple data but when you will define the contract you have to lay down the entire structure so this one is going to be a great project for you i want you to elaborate this expand this contract and add more fill add more complexity okay so do let me know that what extra functionality we can include when it's come to automobile okay so hope this entire video makes sense to all of you if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section so i'll i'll try to include that and i'm going to make an extensive video on that particular question which you guys have okay so this one is a really good practice for all of you to build your smart contract development development skills okay to understand every single thing that how exactly things work in the specific industry so with that i'm ending this video and make sure to access the complete playlist because we will have close to 60 plus different industry smart contracts okay so that's going to be a very good practice for all of you to know that how you have to write the smart contract for a different industry okay so we're going to make 60 plus smart contract we're going to write into this complete smart contract writing course okay so let's move to the next video